What is going on guys? I hope you're having an amazing day today. So I was going through my GoPro footage and I found the NASA video that I completely forgot to upload for you guys. And Universal Video can't upload copyright. Um, but anyways, I do hope you enjoy the video. Sorry I'm a little late on this. This was supposed to be posted six months ago, but um, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell button so you never miss out on my brand new videos. And I'll see you guys in the video. Peace out. Whoosh. Hey guys, what's up? Today we are at um, NASA at um, Merritt Island, Florida. And as you can see, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the rocket garden. Only gonna be like a six minute long video because as you can see in the distance, there's a pretty bad storm coming. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the Rocket Garden so that um, <laughs> we don't get struck by lightning because it's a pretty bad sky over there. So let's go to the first rocket. See what the first rocket's all about, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the first rocket. You can see it's that tall. Swords into plowshares. I I don't even know if it's like a real rocket or something, but um, like, I don't know if that's a name. But um, right here it tells you. Oh, it's the Gemini Titan II. Height 109 feet. Diameter is 120 inches. The first and second stage. The propellants are nitrogen peroxide and aerozone. Ariazine 50. The lift off thrust is 430 pounds. So that's a pretty cool rocket, guys. Let's go see what we have for our second rocket. Um, yeah, let's see what we have for our second rocket over here, guys. Yeah, as you can see, there's like the, the engines. It shows you like the propulsion system on the rocket. Let's go over to. Um, second rocket rocket and this one's called the Juno Juno 2 and it's this high this one okay so the height 76 feet so not super tall diameter is 105 inches first stage the propellants are liquid oxygen and kerosene Upper stage, the propellants are solid fuel. Liftoff thrust is 150,000 pounds. So as you guys can see, that is the Juno 2. Let's go to the next one. Let's see you guys, we're, there it is. Um, third rocket, all the way up there. Let's see what this one's called. Delta. Height is 89.3 feet. Diameter is 88.9 feet. Propellants that, like the, for, just so you know, guys, propellants means like fuel. So, um, the propellants together that make the fuel in this one are liquid oxygen and kerosene. It's a stage second and third rocket. More propellants solid fuel oh well yeah the propellant is a solid fuel together um liftoff thrust is 152,000 pounds so as you guys can see that's the delta let's go check out our fourth rocket and the great thing is guys is there's uh there's no one in here right now so i got like the whole place to myself um all right let's see Rocket data, the Juno 1. Height, 71 feet. Diameter, 70 inches across. Um, first stage. Uh, liquid propellants are liquid oxygen and hydine. Um, it's a solid fuel propellant. And the liftoff thrust to get it off the ground is 80,000 pounds. 
All right, now we got the huge one, guys. I believe this is the Saturn V. It's laying down, as you can see, it goes all the way over there. So let's see what this one is, guys. Um, let me figure out. That's not the sign. I think it's up here. I don't know which sign is what. So, um, yeah. All right, let's see what the name of this one is. Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> Um, let's see guys, I think this is the plaque, and if not, I'm sorry guys, I don't, I don't know where it is, but it should say on this plaque, guys. Um, yeah, right here. The Saturn 1B, guys, the height, 223 feet, diameter, 225.7 inches, propellants is liquid oxygen and kerosene, um, it's a liquid, o liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. And the liftoff thrust is 2 million pounds, guys. That's a lot. So once again, that's the Saturn 1B. This one, guys, is one of the newer rockets. I think one of the newer rockets, guys. I'm going to walk around here so you guys can see it. All the way up there, there's like a shark face. Guys, right, guys look at that sky. Um, all right, so let's go back around to, around to the information, guys. Um, so for this one, it is called, where, what is it called? What does it say what the name of it is? Huh, it doesn't have a name. Oh, Delta Two. The name of it's Delta Two, guys. So the height is 128 feet. The diameter is eight feet. First stage propellants, uh, Kerosene and liquid oxygen. Upper stage propellants are hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. And the liftoff thrust is 1,084,200 pounds. Oh my god. Still not as much as that one. That one looks like a missile. Like a ballistic missile or something. Um, let's see here, guys. Only got like two more, I think. So I did that one, that one, that one. I believe I did not do that one, that one, that one, and that one. So let's see you guys if I did this one, I'm not sure. Let's look back here. Um, Pioneer 4. Yeah, I did do that one, guys. We've only got two more to go on, three more to go on the list here, guys. Let's see what this name of this rocket is. Um... Might be, yeah, there's a plaque on this side that tells you the information that I've been doing. Now, guys, this is only like one part of the, um, of the, of the NASA. There's, there's a lot, lot more. And if you guys ever come out here, um, right there, the gateway it's called, it's a brand new building that opened in like June, I think. Um, and there's a really cool ride in there. I went on it. It's, it was like an hour wait till. Um, it's really fun though. You like explore different planets. Over there, you have Atlantis rocket. And now we'll get back to this rocket, as you guys can see. It's all the way there. It is called the Atlas Sagena. The height is 105.3 feet. Diameter is 10. Um, the first stage propellants are a liquid oxygen and RP-1 and the liftoff thrust is 366,213 pounds. Jeez. That's crazy, guys. We've only got two more rockets on the list to go, guys. And then I'll do like two more things. Uh, so let's see. Find the... This one's huge. Gotta go around here. Where's the plaque? Where's the plaque? I don't even know if there is a plaque for this one. I don't even think there is a plaque for this one, guys. Sorry about that. That's I'll show I'll at least show you guys the rocket. So that's it all the way up there from all the different angles. And then there's this one over here, which I believe does not have a plaque either. 
So this doesn't have a plaque either. Can't even get it in the GoPro shot. Um, let's go back around. It's starting to rain a little bit here. As you can see, the sky is really scary, guys. <laughs> starts thundering we got to get out of here um so I mean, a few more things we're gonna look at here guys because it's starting to get really stormy so um all right so there's one more thing we're gonna look at guys there's one more thing we're gonna look at let's see where it is because it's starting to rain so we got to get out of here guys Oh, it's all the way over here. I want my Ray-Bans falling off my head, guys. I'm trying to... Okay. All right, guys. It's not really a rocket, but it's an engine that was on the Saturn V F1 engine. That's the one I was talking about, guys, the Saturn V. This is the engine on it. Um, height of this engine is 18.5 feet. Diameter is 12.2. Propellants, liquid oxygen, and kerosene. Weight, it weighs 18,500 pounds. The liftoff thrust is 1,522,000 pounds, guys. That's a lot. Um, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see if it's hitting the lens or anything, but um, it's starting to rain. A bunch of clouds really dark in this spot. We gotta get out of here now, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys, and make sure to watch out the YouTube shorts that I posted for NASA. They're like a few small clips of the Atlantis part that we explored, and um, please make sure, guys, to hit the, to like and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell button so you never miss out on my brand new videos, and uh, let's get out of here so I don't get struck by lightning. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you guys um, in the next video and um, make sure to look at all the other YouTube shorts that I made um, new video on Universal coming out soon and um, yeah so I'll see you guys later make sure I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next video peace